Hey guys, Marginus here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Mass Effect 3 for the Xbox 360. This also works for PC, but I'm going to be doing this with uh, Xbox 360 users in mind, mostly. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have an Xbox 360, obviously, you're going to have to have Mass Effect 3, and you're going to need to have an, a USB drive uh, for your Xbox. Basically, plug that into your Xbox, configure it, and then you have to move your Mass Effect 3 save data on there. You don't have to do anything with your gamer profile, nothing to do with any DLC content that you downloaded from Mass Effect 3, just your uh, player game save thing. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you can go to my other tutorial, my Modio tutorial. Uh, I'll link in the description. Uh, all these links will be in the description, by the way. And uh, you can just find out there how to transfer that stuff. Now you can use Mario, or I'm going to be using Horizon right now, to uh, open up your flash drive here. So on Horizon, you plug in your flash drive, you go to Games, Mass Effect 3, and you take this. First of all, always back up your stuff, so I'm just going to drag that to the desktop and uh, back it up. Then move it over here, just drag and drop, go to Contents, Save Number 9, right click and uh, Extract, whatever numbered game save that you want to mod. I already have save number 9 here, so just save whatever it just goes there. Make sure you uh, keep track of the folder that you put it into, because you'll need to go to that later. So after that, I'm just going to go over to Internet Explorer, or Firefox, or whatever whatever it is. Uh, first thing, if you don't already have something to uh, uh, extract zip files or RAR files, just uh, go and get something. You can use WinRAR. Some people use WinZip, TinyZip. There are a bunch of different programs. But just type in WinRAR in Google and you'll be able to find something to download that will help you extract RAR files and zip files. So after that, you go to this website. I'll have a link in the description. This has uh, all of Gibbs editors as they're released. So uh, right here, he's on revision 79 and he's updating this regularly. So uh, download a new one every time, but you can do any of these. They're all for different stuff. Uh, I just have one of each. doesn't matter. And you find a folder that you would put it into. Hold on a second. There we go. And I already have it in here. I actually have like an archive of there, so... Uh, then you just get the save editor and all, and I don't think you would need any of these uh, past visions and all past revisions and all of that uh, but really you need save edit and I think you might need all doesn't I don't know it doesn't matter so after you're done with that you open up that folder that you downloaded those to and you're gonna need to extract it so just go all the latest revisions and extract it extract here and you want to overwrite all the other ones so if I have a uh, 62 or whatever here and I'm going to be doing 79, it's going to overwrite some of the other things, but it's going to be with the more recent revision, so it's probably going to be a little better. After that, you go into Save Edit here, and you open up the application. Okay, so this is the editor right here. You're going to want to go to Open, Open from File. Now, this is where you have to remember that from. <laughs> this is my uh, Fuck EA folder, uh, and I will be opening up the save that I just extracted. Now, this is where you can also uh, open PC saves as well. Just find, uh, these are all XB saves that I have saved here. Go to uh, your folder, uh, wherever you have it on your PC, and go for the save 00 whatever p dot PC save. And you'll be doing the same stuff from that point if you're working on the PC. So, basic stuff right here. You got your level, you got your class, gender, talent points. Um, talent points are a little glitchy. They don't stick because of the way the game works. Uh, so don't worry about that. Paragon, Renegade, and Reputation. Reputation in Mass Effect 3 is a bit different, so you're going to need to put this up so that you have the, I guess, power or whatever to all your uh, persuade options. And then this is just, I fill these up pretty high. So 2,000, 2,000, 4,000, that's all you're ever going to really ever need. I wouldn't even worry about this. I don't know what that does yet. Uh, credits, you can max out. Just put 999, 999, 999. And then you'll be able to uh, buy whatever you want, and then next time you pick up credits, it's actually going to decrease the money. And you'll be down at about a billion or so. Uh, I don't really even care about this, because the game isn't too hard, so honestly. Um, 
going through this here uh, appearance options these are a bit different you can change the colors of anything um, right now by going up and down left right moving it here moving it up here and then you can mess around with all this stuff this is uh, how dark it is and how light it is this is how white uh, bright it is as opposed to the other stuff red green blue and then of course transparency so you can do any of that and then also uh, some more presets here uh, you can actually take some stuff that you would actually put in here so you can do eyes of the elusive man uh, the centurion appearance which I have um, all these different options here and you can actually do some hair options um, any of these are available to be done without using the presets here this is just really easy and a uh, nice way to do it but some aren't actually in here so you'd have to actually put in some manually but you can do fun stuff like uh, uh, the centurion appearance actually has a whole bunch of bruising and scarring over the face but if you want the cool bright glowy eyes and the you know kind of cool glowy scars but not all the bruising then you can actually put on that appearance and then you can try putting on like uh, another appearance to overwrite the bruising but still keep the eyes. I don't know, just mess around with it and you'll be able to find out what you have there. Uh, from here you can also go into head morph and you can import from file, export to file or this might not work sometimes, import from an ME2 file. Uh, basically you can go to export from file and you'll have uh, whatever face, save it to whatever name you want it, then you can save it to a place and then if you have a different game save where you want the same head import from file and you just click your uh, face there so you can do any of that I wouldn't mess around with add or move colors unless you know what you're doing uh, plot really fun stuff more stuff is being added all the time you can uh, ma mess around with Mass Effect 1 variables that you'd have to actually have played the game for uh, Mass Effect 2 you also have that which uh, henchmen you had in the game what, uh, what squad mates you had and of course, Mass Effect 3, you can actually do some stuff right here. So from here, you can actually get Javik, even if you don't have the From Ashes DLC, because most of this stuff is actually on the disc. And then, of course, we get to the Raw tab. This is the uh, one where all the, all the stuff is. And if you know what you're doing, it's probably a little easier to go in here and uh, manually go and do everything. So I'm just going to run down the list here. I always like to expand everything out right away and just run run down the list. So, let's see here. We got squad. Uh, you can go to <laughs> is female. That's the option that's being changed right in the beginning here. Your uh, gender. Let's see here. Uh, use casual appearance. So you can use your casual appearance in combat just like the first level of the game. Might you level up your XP and all that? Origin, notoriety, talent points. Uh, like I said, talent points is kind of glitchy. Um, so it it just resets at the beginning of every mission. So uh, just get whatever talent points you have for the level. Uh, of course, mapped powers you can map them manually from here if you don't want to map them in the game. I mean, it's not that hard, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, combat appearance, you can mess around with different armors and such you have here, just trying to do different numbers. This is for parts, if you want to do a full uh, set, then it's going to actually do the full body ID. Uh, based on whatever you have for that, it's going to give you the full costume, like the N7 Defender armor, the Blood Dragon armor. Casual ID, you can actually get some of the ones that Shepard can wear uh, that aren't selectable. So if you want the N7 hoodie and you don't have the Collector's Edition, you can put in uh, a number. Or this here, you actually get uh, Commander Shepard's underwear. <laughs> uh, so I got a Fem Shep walking around in her panties right now. That's uh, number seven. Um, you can also get the armor from like the end of the game where it's all damaged and you're all bloody and all that. I believe that's number eight. You can uh, just kind of mess around with that and check it out yourself. A lot of these options are ones that you can just change in the game. Um, keep in mind also right here, whenever you're messing around with uh, head or head mesh or anything like that, Always uh, do head morph to true. You always want to have that. Um, a lot of people have been asking how to get, uh, what's her name? It's Jessica Chobot's hair, uh, Diana Auer's hair, and I believe uh, this is it right here. So you just take this and put that into hair mesh. And then you would also have to go to uh, get it all working properly. Going to uh, texture parameters, hair diff, and then you would put a slightly different version right here. It just has a 
bunch of different uh, coding, whatever. So uh, there are basically two codes that come with every hairstyle, and you can mess around with all these different things. Uh, this is also where you would change the eyes of the elusive man if you wanted to. Um, a lot of these options here actually work with your face mesh. Um, so if you ever want to try working around with that sometime, I actually try to get my ME ME1 uh, head morph to work in here, or some <laughs> variant of it, but it didn't quite work too well. Uh, but you can get a lot of stuff from here. If you just look up online a bit, you can actually get some uh, ME2 uh, stuff to work in here as well. Uh, powers, weapons, don't worry about any of these. You're actually going to change these options somewhere else if you want to change them. Uh, current health, I don't really want to mess with that because honestly I tried changing it once. didn't really do much for me. Um, here's the face code. I don't know if that's true. I tried uh, changing the face code actually after I created a character and I honestly don't know what changed if it changed it. But uh, <laughs> I changed uh, from the original face code I had to this, and then uh, it made my shepherd look really cool. So a lot of people have been wondering how to get that. Um, I'll actually put a link to a download of my face code from right here, so you can import head morph. Uh, because the face code, my character's face is modded, so you won't be able to get it by just putting that in there. Uh, henchmen, you can actually mess around with some of their stuff right here. Uh, I don't really care about them, so screw that. You can uh, do all the Paragon Renegade points from right here. Uh, ME2 import, ME1 import, I'll just put those to true. Well, I don't really have to change them because I did play ME1 and ME2. Um, cosmetic Surgery, if you want to have that applied, uh, you'd want to check this one to true. Uh, I don't know exactly what half this stuff does. It's It's a lot of messing around and trying stuff out yourself, so... Uh, be careful about that. Then player variables. This is where the uh, big collection is right here. Let me just expand this out a bit. So right here you can see, <laughs> wow that is actually a little bit too expanded out. Uh, you can see uh, I have the Reckoning Assault Rifle. Uh, that's the Chakram Launcher. Uh, I also have like the Valiant. I got the Collector's Edition, but even if you don't have that, if you go into here, uh, do click add, and then put in this name and this value. This is the uh, level of the gun, by the way, so I have a level 10 Valiant. If you put this in, you can actually get the gun in there without having the collector's edition. Uh, for this one, the Reckoning Assault Rifle, you don't have to play the demo for Kingdoms of Amalur to get that. Uh, Crusader, Hurricane, uh, all these different guns. There's also the uh, Collector Assault Rifle, uh, if you want to get that there. That's actually only available in multiplayer, uh, supp or it's supposed to be at least. Um, and you can see all the different guns are in here, so you can put everything in here. Uh, this dot flags, I wouldn't worry about there. The game puts that in there automatically, so uh, don't worry about that too much. Yeah, so the Talon, the Revenant. Uh, I tried messing around with some other options in here, but some of them don't take. Some of them aren't that important. Um, so, I mean, just test it out for yourself. This is where you uh, want to mod all of your different uh, weapons and so on. It's player variables. Moving on here, uh, that's that seems to be the basic, all of this stuff here. And actually, where's powers? I forgot to do that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this power is here. Uh, you put in whatever powers you want. Um, I just leave all this to zero, 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 whatever. And uh, you put in whatever power you want. So I have throw there, I have pull. And then you can add on every power that you want, except for uh, the class-specific abilities. So if you want singularity, you have to be an adept. If you want to have a uh, biotic charge, you have to be a vanguard, tactical cloak infiltrator and so on you can't mod any of those but any other ability literally any other ability you can mod on uh, as far as getting rid of abilities that you don't want because your power wheel only has so many slots uh, you just don't evolve it at all just zero 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 all that and I actually just put on all the different abilities that I want I delete the rest right here with remove add you know that and after that I go and I set my talent points just 1,000 or something stupid like that, and then the game will reset them after a new level. 
but I just pick the uh, ones that I want, and I'll be able to reallocate talent points like that in the game with a much friendlier user interface than uh, this here with the picking which upgrade you want when it comes to picking them. So like uh, one, two, you'll be able to pick these in the game then. But <laughs> that's the basics, I guess, of uh, Gibbs Editor, and there are new ones coming out every day. Um, so, you know, uh, check out stuff for yourself, look up stuff online, put in codes, have some fun. So after you're done with that, go to Save to File. You're just going to click your file that you had before and just overwrite it. Um, so I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to overwrite it. <laughs> after you do that, come back into Horizon or if you have Mario. Right click, Replace. And of course you pick save 9 and so on. After that, save, rehash, resign. It's going to save it right back in your flash drive. Or if you have it open up from somewhere else, you can actually just click a little button here. Save to device. It'll do it all fine after you rehash and resign. And uh, there you go. Then you plug that back in your Xbox and you got it all working. So I'll have a link to Horizon, uh, the Gibbs editor download page. Uh, I'll even put up a win... win WinRAR thing if you want so uh, that's all good uh, if you have any questions just post them in the comments and I'll answer them best I can